my Bronco ever since day one, what I wanted was patina, I wanted cowhide, and I had to have the Longhorns. <laughs> Other than that, my husband Jesse really put the whole thing together for me. I didn't even know the things that I wanted until he did it for me, and I was like, oh, I would have never guessed, but I freaking love it. <laughs> I actually did drive it this time. I usually trailer, like a little over 560 miles. Driving down 81 for hours and the amount of people that just pulled up next to me, honking at me, <laughs> thumbs up, just going crazy. And at every gas station I stopped at, like everybody had something to say about it. That's it great. Awesome. It just makes my day when people love my Bronco. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. All right, I bought this thing in 1970, took it out of the dealership, I figured the way to break it in would be take it to the woods and start going in and hunting. I bought my Bronco when I was 18. Uh, I bought it off my stepdad. Uh, we had about 40 some of them sitting in the yard rotting away. <laughs> uh, the truck was a show truck back in the uh, back in the late 70s, early 80s. Ah. And so it was that was its name. It was it was the Bronco One. And so it had had the lettering and the pinstriping and a cool you know roof rack on the hard top and everything. He drug it out of the mud because it didn't run and the tires didn't turn. Oh. And lo and behold, he brought it back and he gave it to me as our um, wedding present. The people are amazing. Yeah. I mean, I've I've developed the best group of friends anyone could ever ask for. I mean, it's it's an amazing group, you know. And and the trucks too. I mean, you can get out there and do it. It doesn't have to cost a lot. You just won't find anything with any more fun than the old Ford Bronco. And I don't know if you can see it, but we've got this amazing picture of them sitting on, 50 years ago, sitting on the hood of the Bronco. And my dad originally purchased it from Murphy, North Carolina. When he purchased it from there, brought it up to Ontario, Canada. Oh wow, it's one of the first ones. So this is referred to as a bud truck, right? Yes. So what are you gonna do with a thousand dollars? I wanna get this seat. Yeah! Woo! Woo!